Hey everyone, it is James from Bond with James, and I'm in my classroom again, and I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and do an unofficial classroom tour. I say unofficial because I'm not technically done yet with my room, but um, I've received a lot of questions in regard to a lot of the pictures that I posted on my Facebook or Instagram page, and so I figured I'd go ahead and do a video just kind of walking through my classroom real quick. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and then I'm just going to give you a tour of my classroom real quick. And just, again, I apologize for any trash that you see lying around because I'm not finished yet. Okay, so let me start with when you walk into my classroom, I'm actually like in a corner in a pod. And so here I have um, my interactive notebook area. So when students come in, they'll automatically go and pick up their interactive notebooks right here and go straight to the seat. I'm actually, there's actually an area right here that I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. And I'll actually go around the room, so I'll come back to this, side, this area in a little bit. This area is actually, this area right here is going to be my area. Um, if you don't know, I was an assistant principal actually at this campus, decided to come back into teaching. So this stand thing that I got, I got at, at Ikea and I actually had in my office with a lot of lamps. Actually, this entire setup was in my office um, upstairs and I decided just to recreate it here. Yes, I have a Keurig. Um, actually, it belongs to the school, but nobody was using it, so they let me utilize it in my classroom. So anybody who wants to have coffee in the morning, they can stop by my room and use uh, if they have a little Keurig cup. This is what we call an innovation station here in my district. Um, it's Bluetooth, so it connects to the projector, which is overhead. Additionally, there are some um, Bluetooth microphones. Actually, I will try one right now. See if you can See if you can hear me. There you go. It's going in and out. I got a, I inherited a, an older classroom. Um, and then the mouse, Bluetooth mouse, which if you've ever played like the Nintendo Wii, um, you can kind of control and I can move around and I can change my PowerPoint slides and do all that uh, nice jazz. Um, I was, you have some mirrors right here that I was trying to put up on this wall, but the wall has proved difficult. Like nails won't go through it. None of the adhesive that I put on the walls would stick. I tried hot glue and the hot glue didn't work either. Here's the teacher lab desk, which I'm not going to use. I usually stand up when I'm teaching. Decided to wrap some cloth around um, the lab area because there were stickers on the wood and there were some holes and gums on it, gum on there. And so it bothered me and I decided just to go ahead and, and cover it with some fabric. Um, this is also a piece that I took from my office as an assistant principal that I brought down. Um, it was actually a shelving unit, which the shelf is over there, and I just took it apart um, and put it down that way. Let's see, I have a fridge and a microwave. This is an idea that I stole from Pinterest. Um, I don't know who the original, where the original idea came from. I just saw a lot of people with the, that idea. So if you know who that person is, let me know so that way I can thank them because it's a great idea. It's just a way to put student work up there. And so I'm going to try it out. I have a biology section and I have an environmental system section. So that's what the other one over there is for. So this is going to be the biology one and that's going to be the environmental because I have more sections of biology. Um, if you come around here, here's another lab area. Again, I wrapped the desk. This is where I'm going to have my objectives and my agenda. I'm going to have like a big calendar and I'm actually going to redo that um, because it didn't come out straight the way I wanted it. And I don't really particularly like the tape. Here's another whiteboard with some plants, a sink. Um, I can't tell if you can, well, yeah, you can see the lights a little bit. I just installed lighting under the cabinets. Um, so that way when I cut off the lights and I'll do that in a little bit. So that way um, if it gets a little bit dark, which it is today because it's sort of raining outside, not sort of, it is raining outside. Um, that pro provides a little bit of light. Then I have some plants up there. And actually the signs that I have, I actually have bought those off Etsy and I have them in my office at home. And when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I, was, I figured, you know what, let me just print some out and utilize them in my classroom. And then the frames I got at Hobby Lobby and I got them like 50% off, so those are cheap. Um, on this wall, I actually wanna, my Instagram thing, I had my last name up on a column and I'm, again I'm trying to recreate that but again the wall I can't drive nails through that for some reason and then I just can't think get things to stick on on the surface 
Up here I have, um, I decided, I don't know, I didn't show you up here over there as well. I decided to use some of my old textbooks when I was in school and then books that I had um, just over the years and decided to use that as, I guess, classroom decoration. So here are some of the yearbooks that I have at my school. I decided to hang up there as well. Um, those I got from the art pieces I got from New Orleans. And then I decided to again put some light behind that. And if you can tell, blue is one of my favorite colors and that seems to be the theme of my classroom. Again, I put some of my books, many of my, the books that I got from um, when I was in graduate school, I put in there to use as um, decorations for my classroom. This I bought from a teacher pay teacher seller and I cannot remember the name of the seller. I apologize. So I'll go ahead and uh, look that up and then I'll put that in the, the comment section. Um, and it is editable, so I was able to put, you know, my picture um, and the, the, where it says Science with Mr. Elias, I was able to change that. You're not able to change the numbers, so I just went ahead and put like a text box over it and wrote the numbers. They actually mean something, so if you're able to figure that out and tell me, I'll give you a prize. Because um, each number represents something. Um, and that's pretty much it. My tables are on, my student desks are on groups. Um, so I have 32 desks in my room, so eight groups. And my largest class right now is 32 students. Um, my smallest class, I think right now I have 11. Um, and I think that's it, I don't, I don't think I missed anything. Oh, this is also my teacher area. I, I sort of talked about this a little bit, but um, just spray painted that and then I'm gonna, it's not clear, cleared out yet. I need to put some of my teacher stuff in there. Um, I do a lot of, I didn't talk about this, I went to the teacher store the other day and bought these popsicle sticks because the way I'm going to do my interactive notebooks is they're going to be color coded by class. And so, for example, my first period might be blue. So I will write their names all in blue popsicle sticks and then their interactive notebook card will be blue. They'll have blue ribbon. Um, their bathroom passes will be in blue. I won't do like different color, like all the worksheets and things like that. It'll all be white. That's the only thing that won't be color coded. But as far as um, the things that I utilize in class, I'm going to color code by period. And these are only like, what, 10 bucks that I bought? And there's like 500 of those. So those will last me a long time. So sorry for the, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Because just walking around my room and I'm out of breath. So that is my classroom. I still have a lot of work to do on it. Um, teachers come back uh, next Tuesday. And then school starts on the 22nd. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section. Or if there's anything about the video that you liked, make sure to like that. And without that, you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Happy Sunday Fun Day. Bye.